I'm not what you think I am. So let's talk about, uh, I want to talk to Captain Marvel. Okay. You cannot stand that movie for a certain, to a certain degree. Or can't there, stand is not the word okay. I use for that movie. Roy out there, our good buddy Roy at, Roy at, can't at, bloody, Roy can't stand at, at bloody Flicks, if you want to hit him up on Twitter, uh, he can't stand that movie. He can't stand it, her. It wasn't, he cannot stand it Brie Larson. It wasn't great. It was good, but it wasn't great. It was okay. Okay, I, I like the effects. Okay. I thought we, yeah, effects we just, fine. We just, defend, we just defended it. Yeah, it was, it was it good. Was, I, it was good. It was Red Lantern. Holy crap, we did do You Don't we Hate. We did You Don't Hate Captain Marvel. Anyway, so this was the MCU's first female uh -huh. solo film. Mm -hmm. Everybody wanted it to be Black, Black Widow, Widow. And it should have been, but it went to Brie Larson. Mm -hmm. Kind of like to introduce her uh, as uh, the taking of the torch of, or the baton from Tony Stark and, uh, and in the next phase. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, Captain Marvel grossed a billion dollars. Right. Uh, it made, yeah, it made a, pretty much more of a star from her. She was already an Oscar winner for The Room. Right. Um, but it was not as well received as all of the other uh, I mean, because it had some pushback because of a lot of the choices that made in the film with it being more of a buddy cop film and the acceptance of, of Nick Fury who doesn't accept anybody and he was just like, oh, just space alien. That quick. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, some of their choices in the film, as, as far as the plot goes and the, the Jet Law thing, and it was, uh, it could have been better. It could have been better. It, it's, uh, it was, it was Black Pantherish. It could have been better. <laughs> it could have been better. You said that. It's all. It's not recorded. I never said that. <laughs> I, I never said that. But anyway, so it could have been better. So you have. T Terrence refuses to acknowledge the fact that he's the only brother that does not really like Black Panther. He will not say it. <laughs> Exactly. See what I mean? I anyway, I never said that. So she was. She was. Um, um, the post credit for Captain Marvel uh, opened up for Avengers, and it. You know, great. I, I was pumped for Avengers just okay. from yeah. the post credit scene. So it uh -huh. was great. But um, unfortunately, she was barely in the movie. Right. She was like barely in the movie. It wasn't her movie. And uh, when you saw, um, give me that Thor scene and Wakanda at, in Infinity War, and everybody was like, yeah, right. By the way, War Machine was barely in the movie too. Is that like, because it was a white woman that was in the movie that we gonna make a big deal about it? Exactly. You know, the brother so wasn't in the movie. He's like, oh, nobody cares. How about this? I ain't seen Terrence Howard. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> who they have this film? <laughs> <laughs> they had Chris Hemsworth. They had Chris Evans. They had Scarlett Johansson, and and uh, the dude who plays Hulk because I can't remember his name right Mark now. Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> Ruffalo had all white people, and we're worried about one missing white girl. It's like, what about what about Rhodey over there who's so, still crippled? What about him? Tony Stank. All right, so, <laughs> so like I said, uh, you know, that Wakanda scene was like, oh yeah, Thor's arrival, right? Yeah, right. They expected that same freaking impact when Captain Marvel comes out in Endgame, and mm -hmm. it just fell flat. It was not there. Okay. And and uh, dialogue like, you got something for me, Peter Parker? <laughs> it, it just was like, eh, you know. So Disney's lost interest. They they've lost confidence actually in her. Okay, so I. So hold on, okay. All so right. she signed on for five more films. Okay. She was set to pretty much be the uh, the uh, anchor for the next few phases, mm -hmm. and she is just not hitting. So they're losing confidence in Brie Larson. Go ahead, say what you were gonna say. Okay. So I I, I looked at a few things in regards to this, and some of it says that they had some plans with uh, Spider Man, and they felt like since they lost Spider Man, that their plans with helping her acceptance by the masses. Uh, kind of fell through, so now they don't want to do anything. I don't see Marvel nor Disney being able to walk away from somebody who has a five-picture deal and say, we're just going to cut you a check and not do anything with your character. I would more see them as like, maybe we're not going to do a Captain Marvel 2. Maybe we're just going to fit you into some other films mm -hmm. until your popularity kind of catches on. This is the same company that, after doing Iron Man 3, <laughs> Regular still, man still kept doing, still kept putting Tony Stark in other things, and it was like you know sometimes one movie doesn't hit. You got to at least try to. I mean, you you, you backed did, her. Captain Marvel did hit. Um, it and did. It grossed more than Wonder Woman. So okay, Wonder so, Woman was critically you know praised. So if if you got a small group of people who didn't like it, uh, <laughs> Roy, uh, Roy. <laughs> put that on Roy. Uh, if you have a small group of people who didn't like it, what does it matter if it still made a billion dollars? And I guess maybe because she's the anchor, like that's probably what it is. And they're not going to find another Robert Downey Jr. in in Brie Larson. So yes, they were looking to make Tom Holland the Paul Heyman it, to her Brock Lesnar. Okay, so that's all they were wait, trying wait. to do. Yeah, it's like if you want to be as charismatic as as uh, as uh, 
Robert Downey Jr. Robert, Robert Downey Jr. That's not gonna happen. That, no, of course not. That's, That's not. not it. And and now you've killed him, and you've basically aged out of Captain America. You're done. You have to now and stick with this. So n- now, <laughs> honestly, in my opinion, it's up to Hemsworth and, and you Chris killed, Pratt, and you killed Scarlett Johansson and Chris Pratt. I think it's up to those, those two guys. They can't lead the Avengers. To lead, they can't. Not lead necessarily the lead the Avengers, <laughs> but they can move Brie Larson into the cat role. They can move her into the cat role. Okay, and, and move then, Chris Hemsworth and Thor into the Tony Stark type of role. So he's gonna be. But the he's tech not the guy smart now. Okay, then, then it's gotta be Mark Ruffalo then, as far okay. as the brains. Maybe. Okay, that's fine. You know, that's but, fine. But I don't think they need to lose confidence. You in don't her. bail on Brie Larson. I don't think because you, can, you cannot bail on Brie Larson. No. You gotta keep. You cannot judge her off a cameo in Endgame. That's not her fault. Right. Especially when they filmed Who's it. A, I want to say that they filmed her scenes in Endgame uh-huh. before Captain Marvel was filmed. Right. Okay. So of course she's gonna look stiff. She barely knows the damn character. So yeah, that's what she I said. say exactly. I say, <laughs> <laughs> I say give her a chance. I say give her a chance. Let's see what the next phase does. It's going to be a while before and we see her anyway. Ru- all of this is rumors anyway. I don't think Disney's really listening to this. Maybe somebody talked about it. It was like, hey, she's not doing what we thought or her appeal isn't what we thought it was going to be. And we had plans. And now those plans have fallen through because now we don't have Spider-Man. And then maybe people are kind of running with that and are like, hey, they may do something else with her or maybe not continue on with her. Just like, I don't think they have that plan at all. Look. This is a company that had Agents of Shield go on for like six seasons. <laughs> when people hated this, when people hated the show in the first season, and I was okay. like, so this is like I said, Iron Man three, Ant Man two. <laughs> <laughs> They've had a bunch of misses, and people don't like to talk about that. And I like Thor: The Dark World, but people don't like Thor: I The like Dark Thor World. The yeah, Star exactly. World. So there's a lot of misses that Marvel has had, and they didn't give up on Chris Hemsworth. They didn't give up on Robert Downey Jr. They didn't give up on Paul Rudd. They Did, kept going. Are you sure? Because I think that they... There's they no Ant-Man 3 because of that? No, they, didn't, they didn't give up on Chris Hemsworth, but they forced a character type of change in Ragnarok. It was a, it was for the best. Right, I know. That's what I'm saying. And so maybe, maybe they will do something with Brie Larson. They'll do something with Brie Larson. Okay, so okay. real quick, on, on a side note, is uh, the whole thing with Spider-Man. $10 billion they offered. Ten, they offered, or, or Sony offered, uh, they, to, sell, to sell Spider-Man to Disney for $10 billion. $10 billion? $10 billion. What the shit? Exactly. I mean, they got What would you do? Would you do it? Uh, yeah. I mean. You can make you can make a lot of that money you gotta back. Do, you got to do a lot. Tom Holland, we, we're going to extend your contract out to 20 films. Because yeah. there's a lot of money we got to make up here. But if I'm Sony, I make Spider-Verse live action first. And then send him back. I mean, there's, there's a... Because you still got the rights to Garfield, you still have the rights to Tobey Maguire. But, so here's the deal: do they do Spi- they do Spider Verse, and it's a hit, and now it's twenty billion. It's, it's, it's gonna be a hit. no, no, it's a hit, and they're like, okay, Marvel, we want twenty billion now. <laughs> Alrighty then, never mind. So it's just like you gotta buy it before they do that stuff. And I was like, but ten billion dollars—that's a lot. They paid four billion for Star Wars. All right, so here's what Marvel's gonna do: they're gonna say, go do your movies. We're gonna hope that one of them bombs. And then you come crawling back to us. I think they work out some some deal, and it, it happens again. I think they're buying more likely to do because, because right now they're not really making. When a they lot. force Venom into the Spider in the Spider-Man movie that's coming in Spider-Man Three, when they force Venom into it, like it makes no sense. Venom Three is supposed to have the Spider-Man. It's supposed to have Tom Holland in it. Wait, they're gonna wait two more Venoms. Yes, that's, that's what stupid. they said. That's, that's what they that's said. That's absolutely stupid. Yeah, they're gonna go Venom Two with Carnage, and then Spider-Man. Th- I mean, a Venom Spider-Man Three Four will maybe be... or Venom Two. No, it's not going to be Venom Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 4. They've already, they've already gonna... said they're not going to do Okay, that. they're stupid. Listen to me. All right. This is <laughs> Spider-Man 4 or Venom 2. Where are you getting Spider-Man 4 from? Because they if, if they're it. not going to put in Spider-Man 3, then they're going to put him in Spider-Man 4, right? No, because they're, they're going to make Spider-Man They're going to do Craven the Hunter. In, Unless in, they make Spider-Man 3 Spider-Verse. Because that's the way I'd go. Look, Sony, let me talk to you. <laughs> Just, just just, get back to the table with Marvel. Let, let, let's stop doing this. Let's just stop doing this. It's like, look, I know you and her broke up. <laughs> And I know y'all don't like each other right now, but as your friend of both of you guys, let's let's, let's just talk. Let's let's just talk. Let's just talk. Let's get this back together because right now I can't hang out with either one of y'all. I can't hang out with you because I gotta deal with the flack from him, and I can't hang out with you because I gotta deal with the flack from her. Let's let's just talk. Let's get back to the table. Let's talk. Let's work it out, bang it out, and and let's move on. Yeah, because Brie Larson's depending <laughs> on you. <laughs> her job is on the line. Terrence, take us over. Brie, get in there and take one for the team. <laughs> That's so awful. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, so, uh, if this, if, I don't even know what to say after that. Uh, if this is the first time you actually made it to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Please comment on all the weird 
crap that we just said today. And uh, click the notification bell so that way you're aware of all the other videos that we do on this channel because we have a Terminator video that obviously people love. You want to watch it too. <laughs> yeah. For asking or not where the hell they're at, I'm Annie. I'm Terrence. And we'll see you next time.